Hello, test. Hello, test. Yes, yes, Test, 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 test. We're going to do some work on this. I gotta get my chat phone, hold on. Oh, the chair's too close. Is this gonna work right here? Or is this just a dumb angle? It's a saddle, look at that. Huh. Well, the good thing is, I can clip this to whatever I want. The first thing we're gonna do is swap the brakes, so maybe I'll clip this underneath. Good. All right, so we got sound, maybe. Oh, here's the chat phone. Let me turn this on so I can hear the alerts. I'm sorry. Los Angeles. Low bit rate. Why are we on low bit rate, bro? Uh, I see what happened there. <laughs> there we go. You gotta be careful there. Okay, there's an angle. There's an angle, baby. What's up? I guess I'll just put the chat phone on the ground. All right. Can you guys hear the music or not? Nah? Probably not, huh? All right, so brake pads. Brake pads need to be redone. So I'm gonna take this guy. Come on over here with me. You can't see me yet. You will. 
here in a sec. Eventually, I'm looking for some brake pads. Do your guys' parts then look like this? Let me know. These are, uh, this is what I'm looking for here. A bag of disc brake pads. Sheee! Bad mod, I know, dude. What were you doing over there? In someone else's stream, mushy? How dare you? How dare you? Put that back there. Okay. So I don't even know what kind of pads these are. So let me see. I gotta look at them. I forget. So my rear pads, they're not even that bad. I think it's my rotor actually. Oh yeah, it's my rotor. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna take it off anyways and look, but... Yeah, so these pads, uh... The thing about these brake pads is they all are slightly different, which sucks. Three of my bikes that have disc brakes, SRAM disc brakes, all the pads are different. Unfortunately, I believe it's these ones right here. These are the ones that I need to use on this setup. They look kind of like the ones I use for my mountain bike which are these ones, but much smaller. Can you see the difference between the size, the left ones, or the small ones, the right ones, or the uh, mountain bike ones? You can see how different the, uh, how much more pad there is on the mountain bike ones. That's what you're paying money for. Um, There's more material, so they cost a little more. All right, so first things first, I gotta take this. Uh, wheel off. I'm gonna take these tires off here real quick. There you go. Yeah, I think my rotor is shot, really. I'm gonna see what I have for rotors. Also, this hub is loose, so either way, I wanna take this off. I also have the, um, the uh, tail fin axle in here, which I wanna remove. Bro, this thing is threaded so far. That's it. Let's 
So this is the axle here with the tail fin set up. Watch your mouth in my mama's house. Yeah, these pads look good still, man. Although, like I said, I'm probably going to have to swap out the rotor. And when I do the rotor, I'm going to have to do the pads too. That's a bummer. Sal Delano, one month, that's a new one. Yo, thank you, sir. I appreciate that, welcome. Cannondale Topstone, top five gravel bikes according to Pro's Closet as far as resale. I assume all these are becoming stream bikes. Every single one is a stream bike, dude. Every single one. What's up, everybody? Hello. Yeah, we got multiple angles today. Um, so this... Look at the flex in the carbon. It's crazy. So I thought
Test. Test, test. Dude, what the hell? I know I have audio, I know I have audio now, but it's not working how it should work. I'm very confused why I just stopped working. I shouldn't do this. It shouldn't do this. <laughs> All right, let me try this again. Test, test. Oh, it's working all of a sudden. Oh, wow, look at that. What the fuck, man? Ah, uh, that's annoying. I didn't do anything to fix it there. I just, I just switched back and forth and it worked. Okay. Um, what I was saying was, is that I have these rotors, here we go. And these ro rotors are center lock, you see those little ridges? There's no holes, six holes around it. If you look at mine out here, on this bike, this is a six bolt, see those bolts? So this gets bolted with six bolts to my hub, or the other one, is center lock, which I don't know if I can show you this on my gravel bike over here is center lock. It's a little different. Center lock, you need one tool. Um, usually it's a cassette tool. There's also a bottom bracket tool that works for it um, for a different size. I think it's Shimano versus SRAM, I believe, or I don't really know, but they use two different tools. Anyways, if you guys remember, my breaking of spokes on the tour. I had center lock on the tour. And uh, if I had six bolt, I could have fixed it on the fly. So I kind of prefer six bolt, but center lock is like kind of the new standard. They still use six bolt on like enduro mountain bikes and bigger mountain bikes, but a lot of like cross country and gravel uses center lock. Uh, it's just faster to change your rotor out and. I guess technically, maybe it's lighter, I don't know, but anyways. Anyways, I don't have a new rotor to put on here, so all this work for nothing. So I'm gonna, well, not really, because I needed to swap the axle out anyways. So I'm going to swap this axle out. I like that this just keeps spinning. Stop spinning, dude. I have, I have a no-break source, dude, over here, bro. Right over there. That's called a track bike, mushy. I'll explain more about track bikes in a further episode. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me put all this shit back. That's where I found it. Now I know the axles. Here's the axle. See? This is the Cannondale axle, looking a little, still got some grease on it. Um, so I'm gonna go back to uh, swapping this guy out. Here we go, let me put this back on to auto switch. There we go. All right, we're gonna swap this out, brah. MTB episode, mountain track bikes. Yeah, no way, bro. I ain't doing that shit. You can save that for someone else, crop top or somebody. I'm too old for that shit. <laughs> I ain't doing none of that shit. 
That shit don't make no sense to me. I had a track lacrosse bike. I ended up selling it, changing it from track lacrosse back to a single speed and selling it because it was just, it was just too much. The tension on this single speed thing is so tight. It was too much, dude. I got hurt. I was like riding it like my, like I ride a mountain bike. And it was just, I couldn't take it. It could just be soft, you know. Probably that's what it is. So at least we changed the axle on this bike. So I've been wanting to do that for a while. I'll have to uh, write a note about getting a new six bolt rotor for this guy. So cleaning the, the Marin Headlands dust off of it. There we go. Yeah, you guys should go watch the new video. Come on, bro. You're gonna like it. Everyone leave and go watch the new video and come back. Yeah, I had that scheduled. I had a video scheduled. The night video, if you saw the Instagram clip uh, yesterday, the vi this is the video from the whole thing, dude. Um, it's definitely something that I am gonna work on more. I really like the way it came out. Um, I like the look of it. Um, I definitely need to change we can talk about it on stream. How about you guys go watch the video. I'll just stop talking for 10 minutes. Go watch it. Come back and then I'll discuss it with you. What I want to do to improve it. What's up? What's up? Grant, what's up? I've done the front angle before, but I've never, I, I don't see, I'm gonna get, I don't wanna talk about it right now. Let's wait until everyone watches it. I'm gonna, in 10 minutes, I'll talk about it. So someone remind me to talk about it in 10 minutes, cause I'm gonna forget. All right, so we did one thing on this bike. Wow, really cool. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm very bad at wrapping handlebars. I'm gonna try to swap my fork without bleeding my brakes. I've done that before. Swap my fork and my bars without bleeding my brakes on this uh, gravel bike because I need to get it fucking working because it's, it's preventing me from riding my bike. I don't have Dude, I only have two bikes that I can ride right now. Well, three. And one was an e-bike, so it doesn't really count, right? It's the content bike. Oh. The All-City. I don't even want to talk about the All-City. Okay. So I got to put these uh, NV gravel bars back on. And I got some bar tape for him. My favorite tape right now, this Jaguar stuff. Pretty good. I suck at bar taping or, or wrapping bars. So there's that. I always let someone else do it who's a professional. So we're already, we're already starting off bad with that. Let me see. So I want to swap the fork out on this guy and put the uh, regular fork back on. I mean, it would save me a lot of time if I just left this fork on, huh? All right, I'll do the bars first. And if I, if I feel like it's all right, we'll leave it. That's what I'll do.
So now this GoPro is like not doing shit up here, of course. Dimitri, you would watch the Casey Neistat video, wouldn't you? <laughs> All right. Let's see. That's in the wrong box. Okay, this is a four, that's a three. Let's. Turn switching off. There we go. Then I can try and bring this over here. Ooh. All right. So. Yeah, I don't know. I, I now I'm starting to remember why I want the other fork on here. Um, so the other fork has the steer tube cut down. This one has stack on it for touring. I'm not going to be touring on this bike anytime soon. I just want to ride it as a gravel bike. So I think I am going to swap it out. All right. So I should just take the wheel off now. I am going to swap it. This is a six. I hate that the front's a six and the rear's a five. It pisses me off. I'm just gonna leave that off for now. Don't forget about the Brooks saddle. Brooks saddle's long gone, buddy. <laughs> Fucking got rid of that a long time ago. As soon as I got back. <laughs> uh, I did this in the wrong order, of course. All right, you have notes about the video? What's up? Talk to me. What's your notes? I should have, should have fucking taken the levers off first. Like an asshole. I did it in the wrong order. Here we go. I'll just tighten this down. Iron Man with all the gadgets on my bike? What kind of gadgets? What are you talking about? I have no gadgets. You like it? <laughs> So it's just a test video. If you want to know what we're talking about, chat. Or if you just, this is a five. Um, we're talking about a video that just went live on YouTube. It's a, uh, there you go. It's something that I, it was my first, oops, is that my front brake now? Okay, good. It's something that I uh, was experimenting with, right? And what it is is, it's a, uh, <laughs> it's using really strong bike lights. I link them in the video. Um, I use them on the trail. And basically I have the handlebar mount that I've showed you before. Um, but it's uh, something that 
I think the 360 really lacks, and it's not just a 360 camera. It's any camera that uses in-camera stabilization, right? When you, when you use in-camera stabilization, the camera requires a really, really high shutter speed. Now this is something that goes against the way I like to shoot hotline videos and stuff like that. I don't like my stuff with really fast, um, hard, sh sharp backgrounds. When you're moving fast, there should be motion blur. That's how I see it when I ride. I don't see everything sharp. When you shoot with a really high shutter angle or shutter speed, these things become really, really sharp. And that's the way that they recognize what's in the frame and stabilize everything. That along with, you know, 360 camera captures a whole lot of information. GoPro captures, especially the new one, way more than what it uses to show you. And then it like uses the in-camera stabilization to crop it, right? That's the way it works. So I used to not really be about it, but I decided to lean into it a little bit recently um, because of the uh, handlebar mount. And honestly, I started, when I was making that YouTube video I put out yesterday, I mentioned like you can put, you know, other cameras on here. You can, you know, you can put the Insta360 on the carbon pole and then you can also put um, other cameras. I even mentioned lights. You can put lights on here. So when I was thinking about what I can put on that Insta360 mount, I was like, oh yeah, lights, that would be cool. I have these really, really bright um, lights that I got from, uh, from a company. I linked them in the video. And I wonder, instead of pointing them forward, because this is a, a third person camera mount, and you, it points, you know, it, you can have, it's 360, so I could, I could show the angle going forward, but in my opinion, it's not engaging if there's nothing in front of me. It's kind of like, I wouldn't wear a helmet camera if I'm not chasing or following somebody, right? I would rather use a chesty camera. So having a camera in front of my bike like that, I don't think it's engaging enough to just have, to even move the camera angle really. I find it to be a cool angle, um, probably not to hold for 10 minutes like that video, but that was like a test thing. But uh, so I was gonna have the camera facing back at me and I'm still trying to get around what I'm trying to say. So because the camera's facing back at me, I'm not gonna point the lights forward, right? I'm gonna point the lights back at me um, and light myself. So that's how I came about doing it. Um, obviously, those lights are very, very strong. I had them on their high settings. Um, I, I've messed with the camera a bit. I, uh, I had it, I set it at manual obviously, or else it would have fluctuated all crazy and been super noisy. I probably would have been blown out with the lights because it probably would have tried to adjust for the, uh, for the background. Anyways, a couple things before I read your guys' comments, a couple things that I want to point out about it is, um, I was wearing a white shirt on the day I decided to shoot it which I thought would be cool because it's gonna help bounce the light, but I, white was probably not the right choice. Um, it creates hot spots, but it does make it look kind of weird and cool, but you can't read a lot. It's blown out a lot, which I would fix. I would wear, I wouldn't wear black, but I'd wear something in between, something gray. Try not to wear a color. Anyways, or maybe a color would look cool, who knows? Um, second thing I would do is I would try and shoot this at a different time of day. So I locked the ISO at, uh, I think it was at 400 ISO at a thousandth, um, 
a thousandth of a second. So that way the camera could stabilize, right? I would try and find a uh, better time of day. I shot that around closer to eight. I'd probably wanna shoot that closer to about 6.15 these days. So there's still some light in the sky. And what I want, would wanna do is start from like the west side, somewhere, maybe Canal or something like that, or even Houston, and pedal towards Brooklyn. That way, you got the sky behind me, hopefully on a nice uh, New York sunset kind of sky. And you would have beautiful background, lots of fill, and I would be backlit, but then I'd have those front lights, the front light. Okay, so second, and then the last thing is the lights. I would dial, dial the lights in. Uh, I think I could soften the lights a bit, um, in a way, with some kind of, I mean, it would be cool if I can like book light with those lights. The problem is there, there's so much going on because they're already on the front of my bike and there's only so much room and it's 360. So whatever I put there, the camera's going to see. So I think the only thing I could probably do is put a small piece of diffusion over um, the lights or depending on time and or depending on the time of day dial in the power settings so they're not so hot um, that would be probably um, everything I could probably do but I'm going to continue working the lights and and the time of day really to match the ambient level to my power level or at least a little bit more because in the video obviously the background is like barely there but I think that's what kind of makes it look cool and for nighttime footage 360 I know it has a lot of shakes and stuff but the the clarity of like me it looks like a fucking video game it's crazy how it looks um, it just looks insane so if there was a little tiny bit I don't even want a whole lot more level maybe like a stop and a half two stops in the background and then keep me this like a oh maybe like a half stop on the whites lower I would be I would be happy really happy with that picture so I'm gonna continue to work that and uh, figure that figure that part out because I think that'll look cool I Crusher wants to do something he already pointed out a, 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 a street that he wants to do um, with that camera angle and I was like, oh yeah, I can follow him with, uh, you know, with a, uh, with the hotline camera too and follow behind. But, um, I don't think I'm going to, I'd rather, I'd rather just work on that and get it dialed. Another thing that I did think about, I have another, they're sending me another light, <laughs> another light. And I was going to use it and maybe hit him on his back to edge him or hit the ground below him to further give more, like highlight the whole bike off the ground, you know what I mean? I think that would be sick, so. Sixty frames a second looks much better on a stream when moving with high enough bitrate. I see that's where I disagree with you, sir. That's not. It looks like video game. It doesn't that's not how I see things. It might look smoother to you, like to a gamer, but it, it, I'm trying to recreate reality, and my hand is blurry right now. Like, that's blurry. <laughs> if I did this with a 60 frame a second, it wouldn't be blurry. It would be like, I could see every detail. And that's not what I personally like. I am not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying I don't like that. You dig? Uh, 
Uh, let me see. I'm trying to go back to see if you guys said anything. What do you think about the new GoPro 11 and GoPro 11 mini? Uh, I think it's a sick move that they went to 10 bit color. Um, that's probably that and the bigger sensor size is the most, um, the most impressive thing. The thing that I'm most excited about, about the camera is the 10 bit and the 10 bit color and the, um, and the bigger sensor. And we get a new frame, like a new um, frame. We get, we get a new view, you know, even wider, which may or may not be cool. We'll see. It, it might be sick for chest cam stuff. Um, so I'm excited about that, you know. Um, the 10 bit color thing, if you guys don't know, it's a huge, it's a huge, it might not sound like anything. But it's huge if it's in fact real 10 bit color. But they don't ever, no one ever talks about, you know, what the constraints are. Usually with GoPro cameras, they'll offer some feature, but it'll only be available in certain resolutions and certain frame rates and blah, blah, blah. So, like, I wouldn't be surprised if the 10 bit color is only available for, like, you know, not, not for the hyper, hyper view. You know, it's not available for high review, but it is available for wide. You know, they do stuff like that. Also, does anyone, do you think I should um, raffle these bars off? Does anyone for uh, channel points? What's it called? You know how I give out merch? What about a pair of these bars? The, this set, actually, right here. Uh, I would, I guess I would have to charge for shipping, but that's it. These are the Redshift bars, they're super comfy. Very, very wide, very, very weird. I'll leave this bar tape. I'm probably not gonna use them anymore because I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna be touring on this bike for a while, so. My next couple tours I've planned are on the mountain bike. Anyways, let me know. Probably missed a bunch of questions and stuff, but let's see. You've been enjoying the Yolo Box. Grant, yes, I have immensely. I'm going to make a YouTube video about it soon uh, after I go to LA. Uh, I don't want it, so I didn't want to make the YouTube video on the Yolo Box and explain everything because I didn't think it was fair because I couldn't figure out how to get the USB to work. And then it started working last night. Um, it's, that is gonna be one critique on the Yolo Box is the reason I had a hard time with it, getting it to work properly. So hopefully, um, hopefully that'll you know, help or figure, help you guys figure out if you wanna buy it or not. I think it's great. Um, there was also, uh, I had an issue with it, with the, uh, what was it, with the, what's it called, the bit rate. It looked mushy, right? It looked all smushed. Um, and I figured out what it was. It was, uh, it was my fault. In the settings, I had it set to a max 3,000 um, or three megs up. It goes all the way up to eight. So, and when I stream, like right now, I'm all oh, right now. I'm only at three, so it probably looks mushy right now. <laughs> 
But I'm in the studio and the way that the cell service works here is not that good. I've talked about that before. What? Blabby. <laughs> Blabby. Um, let me see. Feeding motion blur to encoders is not great. Yeah. I imagine, I imagine it's not great. I imagine that they need um, a lot of um, sharp pixels as well because there's banding and blurring and it takes way more um, data to uh, encode that and transmit it. I understand that. I'm just saying I personally don't like the way it looks, but I understand. Um, my server doesn't do 60 frames a second, 1080, so I can't even do it. I can do, I think I can do 720, 60 though, but I think I'd rather do 720, 30 than 720, or 1080, 30 than 720, 60. You know what I mean? Uh, Dimitri, there was Horizon Lock before, dude. <laughs> Dimitri, always with the fake news. <laughs> there was Horizon Lock before without the uh, without the media mod, man. Um, I'm just I'm just picking on you again, but uh, yeah, uh, you had to be in narrow mode to use it though. So uh, I don't know if you know, I'm sure with the bigger sensor, there's gonna be, you know, other um, views, viewpoints that are gonna work without the media mod. But uh, you definitely use the, I use the media mod for Horizon Lock because of the, uh, what am I trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> because I, I, you know, I can't use narrow. Like I want, I want a wide POV when I'm riding my bike. So I love these crown races that have a split in them. It's they're so much easier to take off and on your bike or your fork. Ah, oh, there we go. But I am. So this is one fork off. You guys talking about, I'm, yeah, I don't understand, you guys are talking about Reddit. Yeah, I don't understand, you know, how people get a Reddit or a subreddit. Um, I'm sure if I had one, it would be a lot of shit talking or whatever. Maybe not, I don't know. Um... So do you have the ability to upload a full 360 video to YouTube that we could pan? It would be really cool for a behind the scenes type of video, a hotline, anything. So Jellystone Bandit, I have a whole playlist on that. So just, I don't have it on me. I mean, I guess I can look for you real quick. Let me see. I'll find a link for you. Let's see, YouTube, or Terry Berenson, 360. I have a whole like 360 playlist here. I'm gonna grab it right now. And I'm gonna post it in the chat for you. It's not letting me paste. Dude, this app be acting up a lot. All right, there it goes. So yeah, I already ha I've already done that. I just don't think the resolution for a full 360 video is there yet. Does that make sense? Like when you pan around, it's just not, not only that, it's a tremendous amount of work for me to make those videos. And I hate to say it, but no one watches them. <laughs> so some of them on that playlist are broken, I will say, like the angles are all fucked up. And when you pan, it goes the wrong direction. That's my fault. But I've done them in the past 
And the videos that get played more are the ones where I select where you get to see. So. Anyways, you think the background over the boardwalk? Oh, uh, I know we can't ride on the Brooklyn Bridge anymore. I guess we could. Uh, evolution. Evolfion. Evolfion, what's up? You're from the Netherlands? Sick. Thank you for the follow. Uh, where I, so I was using the old box and mission crit, yeah, um, but I didn't have the bit rate set high enough, so it looked a little mushy, it looked a little soft, you know, because it was capped at 3,000, so it just like went up to three and just was like, eh, like redlining. Uh, I could have pushed way more information out, but, um, you know. It looked a little mushy. <laughs> now I see what you did there. Disappointed dad is back. Dimitri, you think Horizon Lock works on all? I don't think so. I don't think there's that much sensor. I don't think it's cropping that much. I would say it might work on wide. We'll see though. If I was here tomorrow, I would have the GoPro tomorrow, but I'm not here, so. When I get back from this trip, I'll have one. Am I selling the fork? No, I'm not selling the fork. Also, this fork, you know, forks are weird nowadays. They all don't work on the same bikes. Fuzz nuts, what's up? It's funny I'm using a GoPro to do this because I could use the big camera for this instead. I wonder if I could... I can probably get that set up and this would be a way better shot. <laughs> uh, do we want to do that? Let's try it. I'm really gonna... I'm really wasting time here. Alright. I'll switch cameras to uh, this other camera for the meantime. Or right, wait, is this the webcam one? Yeah, that's the webcam. Okay, here. Or right, wait, no, that's just the HDMI. That's right, okay. Let me swap this real quick to this guy. And I'll swap this to here, okay. Now you guys can see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to disconnect the GoPro. I can just put the, <laughs> put the Sony here. It's funny that I'm even using the GoPro. I could use a bigger camera. I just wanted to, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I wanted to do. Got a nice camera here. I don't know if it's gonna stay up though. Let's see. I'm gonna get a camera upgrade real quick. <laughs> oh, there we go. Is it gonna is it gonna stay up? Just need to swap this cable out. With this one, and then take this cable, plug it into here, and turn this on. It's a little dark, that's okay.
it's not as uh, it's not as wide. I'll just swap to this one. Bam. There. Haha. <laughs> hey, what's up? Look at that. I from Wyoming. Hello, welcome. This looks like it's mad crooked. There we go. Oh, there we go. Something like that. Oh, we also got fuzz nuts. Hello, what's up, fuzz nuts? Um, we're probably gonna lose audio here in a little bit. I can try and plug in my camera audio. Um, let me see. Not too sure how this audio reacts. I got this uh, like really old shotgun mic here. It's a Rode Video Micro, but it fucking sucks. I've never liked it. Some people love this thing, I don't know. So I'm just gonna put it on top of the camera in preparation for this thing dying. Oh. All right, I don't know what that sounds like. I'm gonna listen. Test, test. It's not too bad. There we go. I'm gonna charge this up. All right, let's continue here. Whatever the hell we were doing. What were we doing? I forget. Uh, 
that's right. I can do this. I can maybe spin this. No, that's not going to work. There. There we go. All right, there we go. So we got, we got this camera up here. You kind of see what I'm working on here. So I need to put this back on here. I forget what we were talking about. I'm sorry, I got, you know how it goes. I just be fucking going, getting on a bender and forgetting what the fuck I'm talking about. So please, someone get me back on track. Keep me company, what's going on? <laughs> Help me out, I'm lost, baby. Oh, I forgot. I need to uh, have the dough, you know. So sometimes I use a belay strap for this. There we go. I forgot to take the uh, little dude out of here. Compression plug for carbon. Uh, so yeah, you guys are talking about the gearing back there. Why is this so hard to get in there? This is like exact fit. <laughs> Holy shit. That's not, that does not feel good. Um, my gearing on that bike, I've been thinking about, I've been riding it a little more. Um, the idea behind it was that I was, you know, it's a, tr it's a bike with track bike gearing. Oh, Eric's here. And, uh, sounds like he's here. Let me go check. Hold on. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, the reason. What's up, Mala? What's up, dude? I realized, oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. I realized I left the speaker out and everything. Sorry. It's okay. You turn it off. It's a waste of battery. So I like that it's battery operated, but we last. never use it. Yeah. Totally. We always have it plugged in. Right, right, right. Yeah, man. We should fucking pull it out one day. It's Bring it downstairs. <laughs> Have like a little... Yeah, that's what it's for. I've never done it. <sighs> Trying to get this bike fucking set up, dude. It's preventing me from riding. Old bike needs set up. Putting the old, yeah, putting the old setup back on. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Also, testing the stream again. The stream Just checking it out. Okay. Mala's here, what's up, Mala? Mall is up early. You were streaming all night, weren't you? I was talking about my track bike gearing. I have it set up like that because I thought I was only going to ride it around the park, and then I started riding it in the city again, and I was like, fuck, man. I need, I need to, like, get it back to a place where I can, where I can comfortably ride it again. Like not at the park. Cause that honestly been gone. Yeah, get in there. Uh, Cause I haven't had time to like even get in there and like ride it at the park, which sucks. Cause I was gone and then, I don't know. It's all excuses, man. You gotta work today? Oh shit. Yeah, everyone was in the stream it seemed like. Everyone was in Mala's stream. I saw everyone there. I don't really want to. 
Damn, I guess I gotta do two spacers. I don't really want to. I guess we're doing two spacers. I thought I cut this down even more. I guess not. This thing needs so much work. There's grease. Like the cassette and the chain ring are so fucked. As far as like just needing to be cleaned. I need to swap the chain ring out too, it's so bad. <laughs> I see it? It's so chewed up and it's even bad. Like it's Oh, some of them are like that. It's uh, for that shift it's for shifting. Oh okay. I'm surprised. I thought the teeth were going to be really bad because I did, you know, whatever, almost 4,000 miles on it this summer. Yeah. And it's really not that bad. Because uh, I rarely use the big climbing gears. I was mostly on the, on the small ones. And yeah. when you ride like that, normally you chew those up quick, but they're not really that bad. They're not like, you know, like you can tell they're bad when they're like this. They're like shark teeth yeah, they're yeah. not like there's some sharp ones but they're not like I thought it was gonna be like gone broken If I do ride, it'll be like I'm down to go somewhere and grab lunch or something. Yeah, yeah, quick, quick. quick. <coughs> cool. Eric's got his gravel bike set up, you guys. Mm -hmm. and, and he hasn't been riding his bike a lot, so he's <laughs> he's ready. I should have cleaned this out. That sounds like shit. Yeah, Mal, I'm leaving again. I'm going to, uh, why is, this is a terrible, here, let me, let me push this over here. Whoa. Is that better? I can't tell. Where are we at? That's a little better, I guess. There we go. I guess that's better. Is that better? Is it looking at me or looking more at the bike? Whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm leaving for a project. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with the guys in LA who ride. They're like the, their team is Concept. Um, they all come from track bikes, but it's like they do a lot of road gravel, like ultra endurance events. They were just in uh, Spain at this event called Badlands. Anyways, they're uh, doing a fastest known time from Los Angeles to Las Vegas and they're starting on Sunday night so I'm flying out tomorrow to set up and I'm gonna stream a 24-hour stream of them riding from LA to Vegas it's gonna start at nighttime so by the time that people or viewers like yourselves are online They'll probably already be well on their way, but it's 24 hours, so you'll catch a piece of it, regardless. Um, so yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna live stream it. So that's part of what this setup is with this like, you know, that little camera switch that's automated like that. Like, I'm trying to see, you know, I have. Well, I have here. Well, you stream. You'll you might appreciate this stuff, or you probably will appreciate this. Let me switch this back to. Uh, I'm gonna turn the switching off real quick, and I'll just show you my setup real quick. Other people have already seen it, but I'm gonna switch this. Hopefully, this camera's still on. Is it on? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. So I have a camera over here. It's wireless. <laughs> Can you still hear me? Lol, I disconnected the HDMI. <laughs> okay, can you still hear me? I hope so. Okay, good. So, Mala, this is uh, 
This is what I'm going to bring with me, basically, like a, tor a, a, a ripped down set. Um, a camera like this, kind of. Um, the, uh, this is what I'm using for streaming right now. This is a Yolo Box Mini. Um, and then this is what I use for my desktop streams. You're probably familiar with this a bit. This is an A10 Mini. This is a camera switcher. So it has four inputs for cameras, two outputs. One is a USB C and one is an HDMI. And then I have it rigged up so it's powered by a fucking battery dog. So this whole thing, nothing's plugged into the wall right now. I can just move it around. It's kind of fucking insane. Um, and then it has, this is an important part, it has two mic inputs. I'm not using them right now. But this is important because now I can mic up four. There's three people going. And basically, um, what I want to do with this is I want to um, I want to do picture in picture. And I'll show you what that looks like real quick. So like when they're riding, just to kind of keep things popping, I want to, uh, let me see, we'll, we'll say that this one is them. And that one's me. Take this box off, and then picture in picture, there we go. Okay, so, oh fuck, <laughs> I did it the wrong way. Let me go back and change it. Whatever, we'll just, we'll just pretend, okay? So we'll pretend that this camera here, uh, I'm also gonna be in a support car. So imagine, this camera here, the one that I'm shaking back and forth, this is on like a POV bag set up wirelessly and it's going to, to my car, to the car. And then I'll be in the car talking to chat in the small little screen on the bottom. Um, so you'll be able to see them riding and you'll be able to see me and you'll be able to hear everybody. So that's what I'm trying to figure out how to get set up and that's part, partly why I'm doing these streams right now. So that's, uh, what's up? <laughs> Uh, so this is all the stuff I'm bringing with me. Um, let me see here. Let me go back to uh, USB, I guess. Yeah. Boop. And then yeah, so I can switch. You know, so imagine I can I could take a camera that's hanging off the side of the car, and I can switch to these other angles. And. Uh, and imagine it's all, all on a car except for one, like this camera right here. You see this camera? Look at it, it's wireless, right? There's nothing on here. So like if I wanted to switch to this camera, imagine that this is just in a backpack. Because I want to keep it lightweight for those guys. So I can just be like, um, sorry. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta remember where I'm at. So boom, I just hit a button. And now I can cut to their camera, like on the bike, like POV. Obviously it won't be this camera, but you know, it'll be behind bars like this. Um, and then when I want to cut back to, you know, a car camera, I can do that. Or if I want to go back and do picture in picture, I can do that. And not only can I do that, remember that this is the car camera and pretend like that is the, this is the inside the car camera. And then this is like an angle outside the car here. And then if I want to cut back to their riding footage, all I have to do is hit this button and it keeps the picture in picture and then you can see their bike again, you know what I mean? So like that kind of interaction for 24 hours, hopefully, we're, <laughs> we're testing it. I don't know, I don't think I have the battery life right now, it's looking like, but we have ways around it. Hopefully it's gonna work out. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> and that's what this is all about. Um, Let's go back to USB, there. Let's go back to the nice camera actually. There we go. So this whole thing is gonna be wireless. That's the whole beauty behind it. That's the whole thing, you know, is to try to get it set up to be completely wireless, completely usable um, 
and keeping it lightweight for the riders. A lot different than the tour, right? Like the tour, my setup was so heavy and the camera never changed. This one, it's all about camera changes and it's like I, it's less, I'm gonna be there. I'm definitely gonna be commenting and like hanging out with chat with you guys and like making sure I'm engaging, but I'm also like, it's really me, I'm facilitating their live stream. Um, so, you know, hopefully I can get at least one of them to get, I'm gonna probably give them my chat phone. So it'll give you guys on the bottom of the screen, you can see on the bottom left there, it'll have the map, it'll have the location, it'll have the speed, all that stuff. Um, it'll be linked to an actual rider, not to me, not to the car. Cause sometimes I, we might have to, uh, you know, we might have to pull off and go get some fucking Red Bulls or something while these guys are still riding. So you might have to, the stream might pull into a gas, I mean, the stream is going to pull into a gas station. Meanwhile, these boys are out here still riding and, and I don't, that's the part I'm still trying to figure out what we're gonna do you know, as far as like keeping the stream going. It might be more of a dash game at that point, but we'll see. Working on it. Um, where are the handlebars at? And right now I'm just trying to put my bike to back together so when I get back I can fucking ride this thing. It's been so long, man. Pissing me off. Yeah. I'm trying to decide. Sun's coming now. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna swap these uh, screws out for some nicer ones. My hands are filthy.
Should have put this back on uh, camera swap, dog. There we go. There's also this lazy mode where I'll probably use on stream. I call it lazy mode, but it's just like keeping the camera switching every once in a while. No, that's not going to work. Um, switching the stream to them isn't going to work. Uh, I would need multiple ways to transmit to my server, and I, right now that's very expensive. That means I need multiple SIM cards and stuff. So yeah, that's that's something. It's not impossible. It's just something that I can't facilitate myself. It's too expensive. They have to be within range of, of us. So if we go to the gas station, we have to ride or something. Unless you guys want to buy me a, uh, you know, access to some more SIM cards, I have the means. I have the ways to do it. Check funded, maybe. <laughs> Nice. Sort of got something here. Is that pointed at? It's pointed over here. The sun's coming in really nice right now. What do I think about what? Um, what's that stem color? color look unique. It comes with the bike. It's a number 22. Too much for this project, but during gas station breaks, can you somehow transfer the stream to a simple bike camera that the riders have or occasionally cycling cameraman? <laughs> yeah, like, okay, I already answered that, but yeah, that, you would need a whole nother streaming system to do that or they have to be within range, so no, that's not going to work. Uh, this has probably been uh, answered, but what makes the camera swap? It's the YOLO box. It's so sick. And I can swap it between three different sources. You want to see that? Yeah. I should add the third source, actually. That'd be pretty sick. So let's see, video sources. I'm going to pause it real quick. I can do picture in picture as well. So there we go. So we'll have, we'll have three now. We'll have picture in picture actually I didn't set the picture in picture duration though hold on yeah hold up. we'll do picture in picture for two minutes two minutes of picture in picture done start there we go so yeah it's gonna be picture in picture or it's gonna be this angle and it's gonna be this angle and it's going to be both angles, picture in picture. Yeah. It would be sick if it was motion detected, but it's not. Alright, so now is the fun part. 
we're going to put the uh, brake levers on. So this is the rear brake. I'm in the U.S., so my rear brake goes on my right side. If we were in the U.K., uh, we would go on the left side. Fun fact. I'm sure you guys knew that, though. tighten it down a little bit. I'm not going to like go crazy because you want to level these out once you get the wheel on. So before I wrap the bars, that's the last thing you do. I'm going to just get these on here so they don't move on their own. Um, actually, these, like that. I actually need to buy new, new grips or covers or whatever. I don't even know how they go on, honestly. I guess you slide them over. All right, Mala, get to work. Safe travels. I'll be in your stream tomorrow. Uh, I'll be flying tomorrow, but the stream starts on uh, Sunday night. So Sunday, Monday for you. Uh, either way, if you're there, that's awesome. If not, I'll see you uh, when, we get, when I get back, Mala. We got we to gotta meet up and do an IRL thing. The next thing I gotta do these are torques so this is the fork I brought on tour with me it did a great job um, I'm not getting rid of it I'm holding on to it because it's a good fork for touring but I gotta get this brake off of here without um, without losing pressure. So what I did last time was, did I do this? I forget what I did. I'm pretty sure I unscrewed the, the, um, the uh, valve here, undid it. I did it like this, I had the bike up sideways. And I did it like this, or, or was it this way, I forget. Basically, you leave everything upside down. That way it doesn't come pouring out. How are these brake pads looking? They're actually not bad at all, it's crazy. I refuse to use my brakes on tour. <laughs> uh, you lost the main cam, that's all right. Here. Thank you for the heads up. We just swapped to this one. It's the uh, the battery. The battery on the camera. It's fine. I'm surprised the Holly Cam transmitter is working for this long enough. I got the charge. There's gonna be a lot of that on the uh, on the 24 hour stream for I mean the uh, fastest amount of time as well. Okay, so the next thing I gotta do is I really like the GoPro clip. It's on this clip here. It makes it pretty easy to just like snap at the shit, you know? Like I can just throw it on the chair right here. And then 
Um, I have some bad news. The stream's probably going to end soon. The, the main big batteries that I used yesterday are two, three times now. It's uh, on its last little power, so not going to be... When the battery dies, we'll have to go. This wasn't supposed to be a super long stream anyways. All right, so I'm going to put this right here. So I think what I need to do is, how did I do it last time? I'm pretty sure I just did this. I flipped it up. Right? Pretty sure I had it flipped up like this. I forget. But it's like I gotta do it twice. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the brake lever on and the bars first. This might be the wrong way to do it, but fuck it. Yeah, so I think I'm going to take the brake off of here. I'm going to put it on this bike and then do the housing. That's probably the smartest way to do it. Top screw is loose. <laughs> Interesting. These are the things that happen on tour. All right, let's see if I can get this to work with this amount of cable.
There we go. Dude, get in there. <laughs> this screw is being very difficult. Oh, there we go. Don't strip it. Y'all are gambling a lot, dude. What the fuck? A lot of gambling going on. You guys have a problem. There, and then I can just ride my bike like this, dude, with the extra fork. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's fine, right? Rotate this up like this. It might be hard for you guys to see. Sorry. Oh no, upside down, I think is how I had it. Yeah, upside down makes the most sense. I'll move the camera so you can see. That's why you gotta get the nice bike rack so you can do this. So I'll probably still make a bit of a mess, but it won't be a lot. Because there is a reservoir in the brake, I believe. Not 100% on that, but put this over here. And you know what I could do? I can try and charge this. I doubt that it's going to charge as fast as it takes, but we'll see. I really like to finish doing more of them. Now we are plugging so well. Oh! We got a dead camera there. Drink some water. Yeah, that's a great idea. Thank you, Shay.
Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Test, test. Sweet. Okay, we got um, lab mic audio. <clears throat> I don't know how long this is gonna last for, like I said. As soon as I started charging this battery, everything else died. And it seems that the ATEM is still working somehow. I don't know how that's working, but it stopped giving power to everything else. Oh well. All right, this is gonna be the messy part. Um, I had some rags somewhere. Oh, they're right here. Get this rag here. I'll bring this over here so I have something. messy hopefully not too messy though oh you know what I needed to do this fuck oh man fuck man I don't have the little I don't have the little uh, bullet things fuck for the SRAM hoses. Fucking hell. Let me see. I'm pretty sure I don't have them. I used the last ones last time. Damn it. That's why I didn't do this. This was the other reason. It's all coming back to me. Okay, well, fuck it. Sorry, chat. This is as far as I can go. Kind of stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it. I might just bring it to a shop. I'll pay King Cog to do this for me. Um, to do it while I'm gone, so that maybe I can pick it up. You know what I mean? Can't even ride it though. Yeah, that was fucking stupid. I guess I could. I could just I could ride it over there like this. The double fork. Just volet strapped like this to my bike. I could like skateboard it over there later. Take a city bike back or whatever. I think I can just do it like this. I mean, like, what the fuck? What are you doing, fool? You fucking strange man. What'd you do to your bike? <laughs> Something like that. I'll just put my wheel back on, air up the tires, put on some pedals. We can skate it over. I don't have a chain yet either, which is hilarious. I might just get one on Amazon. Q doesn't have any right now, and I have, I have email alerts on, but it's like, I'm tired of waiting, and as soon as I order one on Amazon, I bet you that they get them in stock. That's just the way it fucking works. 
I don't want to support Amazon bike shops. It's fucked. No bike shops have them right now that I've checked in New York, which is really annoying. <laughs> There's spider webs on my wheel. Because <laughs> I haven't been using it. I went on tour. This definitely needs to be centered. I'll do that before I go. get this artsy angle right here in the bottle bottle water water bottle cage let me know what you think about this angle <laughs> I should take notes. Uh, I do. It's just, uh, I'm usually on top of it right away, but because I just went on tour with this bike, you know what I mean? I just, it's a terrible excuse. But you know what's up. You know what I mean. I didn't think I was gonna ride this for a while, but I miss it. Yeah, here's the angle I was talking about. Look at this angle. <laughs> it's sick. Start filming, put the GoPro there. That's the new uh, camera angle for YouTube videos. I don't mind this angle for working on the bike. It's actually a good angle. Can wear a camera over my head, like over my face, so you can see my face in the bottom. <laughs> be a pretty silly way to do it. I'm gonna take this shit over here. This and this. So many like fucking camera, camera angles and cameras for this trip. I'm gonna start packing them. New fork? No, not a new fork. Old fork. Putting it back on. Uh, the black fork was. Uh, the black fork was from Tour, so it has adventure mounts. So I thought I would put it, put the, oh my God. Thought I'd put the uh, old one back because I'm not going to be touring on this bike for a while, so. Brake now, center the brake when you tighten this down. Oh, that's why that one wasn't very tight. That fucking Torx is pretty blown out. I need to get a new, a new one for this side. I think I fucked it up on tour. So it's centered now. Then you can go in and make like tiny adjustments to it. There we go, see? No more sound.
the venture look. Yeah, I'm getting rid of it. I actually used it. Yeah, these are gravel bars. These are Envy gravel bars. These are whiskey forks that are used on a bike tour across country. It's a whiskey. Didn't come with the bike. I got it because I needed it to carry water. It was very important on tour for me. But, uh... Now I got the bike back to its normal form. I guess what I'll do now is just change out the, uh, the chain ring. I didn't want to do this because it's so gross, but I'll do it on stream. Should do it before I bring it over to those guys anyways. Let's see. My mountain bike's actually over there right now. The Cannondale because of the creak sounds. I don't have a press fit bottom bracket tool. I'm taking the crank arm off. I don't know if you can see or not. Oh my God, I got so much grease on me. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what, my uh, cranks are nice and greased up. Everything's real clean on these. <laughs> Good job, Terry. You did a great job in here. The spindle's a little rusty. <laughs> you can't get the cable out without bleeding. Or you can, you just have to uh, be very gentle with it. You can't get, it's about not introducing air into the system. Why are you going to switch your fork on a bike? The, uh, look at that lens flare. It's kind of crazy. This is the really small sprocket that I used for the tour 32 tooth Arn. It worked perfectly, but it is, so, there's so much grime on there. I know you can't see it with the GoPro, but uh, yeah, it's fucking gross. So I'm gonna take this compression, compression washer off real quick. Let's see. There you go. Now I got a couple of these Torx keys. Oh my god, it's there's so much crud in there. Remember this road from Brooklyn, New York to uh Portland, Oregon, so there's a lot of dirt and crud back here. And uh, I didn't wash my bike. <laughs> no washing. What a bad boy. Mm, there we go. I should definitely uh, come back and do a full wash day on all my bikes. They're pretty gross. And I want to put this chain ring on my uh, Sentinel. Cleaning and regreasing does wonders. <laughs> oh yeah. Regreasing for sure. Cleaning? Mm, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I love me a, I love me a dirty bike. But yeah, cleaning definitely. Um, I imagine it helps with the longevity of things, bearings and chains and drivetrains and bearings. <laughs> but that's about it. Everything else, you know? I'm gonna do as much as 
It does for the aesthetics, in my opinion. And I like the aesthetics of a dirty bike. God damn it. All right. Uh, let's see. So I'll show you what I used to ride. Oh. What is this? A 44? And this is a 44 oval. Is this a 44 oval? What is this? Well, this was a 48. Yeah, I had a 48 oval, which I need to get rid of because I exclusively use orange chain rings. How are we still on this angle? I've been on this angle forever. So this is an absolute black oval. I think it's a 48. And I have an Arn 44. What's going on here? Have we not switched angles in a while? Let's see. Oh, it's still counting down. Picture in picture videos. We're gonna get we're gonna get rid of the picture in picture video. There we go. <clears throat> so this is the uh, 44, and that's an orange chain ring. And this is a 32. It's actually made for mountain bikes, but I brought it with me on tour because my fucking bike was so heavy, and I knew we had some major climbs. So I went with it, and I'm happy I did, because uh, some of the stuff I couldn't, once I broke my chain, or my spokes, I realized I was breaking spokes because of the, uh, the amount of like leverage of all the gear, and camera gear, and live stream gear I had on my bike, kept breaking the non-drive side, so, there we go. So this arm chain ring just fits right in with the SRAM like locking mechanism. Let's see. So this is the new chain ring now. So we just went up 12 teeth <laughs> on the front. <laughs> Pretty funny. Pretty big drastic change. Anybody an idea what makes a squeaky noise every time I pedal full spin? Uh, it can be a bunch of shit, but bottom bracket's a good place to check. Honestly, it could be your seat. And seat posts sometimes. A good way to know if it's not is get out of the saddle and do it. And if it goes away, then it's probably your seat and seat post. Um, Yeah, your drivetrain, um, but it's probably usually your bottom bracket. Usually it's just grease. Usually it's something easy, but it can be a real pain in the ass sometimes to find it. And that's what's going on with my mountain bike. That's why I sent it and brought it to King Cog because I don't have the tools to pop the uh, bearings out. And I'm not familiar with those Cannondale cranks. So. I did pull them apart once and I was just like, I can't get the bearings out, so there's no reason for me to go any further. And uh, I greased everything I could, but it still was not working. So anyways.
Bro, oh, motherfucking Amir in the chat gambling. No way. Man's not hot. This angle doesn't work as well anymore, huh? <laughs> now that I'm working on the cranks, it's not an, as good of an angle. Yeah, let's see. How's that? It's a terrible angle too. There we go. Saddle angle, baby. What do I do? Looking down. Oh, now we switched. Uh, excuse me. I guess I should clean this crank arm, huh? It's looking really foul. Make sure it's not cracked or anything after the tour. I've had these cranks for years, dude, since Deluxe Cycles was off of flushing. Up on Waverly, bro. Fast action bike cleaner. Let's see how this muck off shit works. I think it only works if you have like the muck off spray. Um, what's it called? Like the pre-cleaner. Whatever. Let's see. Actually, it's doing a great job. <laughs> doing a really good job. Damn, this stuff is really good, actually. Damn. And it smells like candy, of course. Yep. No cracks in these crank arms yet. That's good. And these crank arms forever, like I said. Not too bad, not too shabby. I guess I'll clean the other one then. Now look, you got me on a bike cleaning mission. This is the shit I don't like. That's good enough. I'm gonna get carried away here, man. Next thing you know, I'll have a clean bike and that's just not good, bro. It's not a good look. All right. The two minute bike wash, that's how we do it. Like, but that's, you gotta do that like right after you ride. You can't wait, you can't go on bike tour and then wash your bike like months later and expect for it to be clean <laughs> at a two minute bike wash because that's just not gonna work. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, those are some powerful cranks, I can tell. Look at that. Oh, it feels like shit, bro. Shouldn't feel like that. Something's not right. Let's take these back off real quick.
It's probably just my shitty ass. No, that feels good. Feels a little better. Still, I should be able to crank this down and it should feel all right and it doesn't feel good anymore, which is not a good sign. What is it, Amir? What could it be, baby? No hotline stickers on what? Torque wrench? What are you talking about, Dimitri? Demetrius talking about torque wrenches? I'm sure there's a torque setting for your cranks, but no, dude. These are, uh, these are set. Uh, you should be able to crank these down and it, wouldn't, it shouldn't affect anything. You don't need no stinking torque wrench, bro. I got one though. Not for the right settings for a fucking bottom bracket though, or a crank. Yeah, these are both on the same, the right way. Hmm. Hmm. Might as well clean this while I have it off. God damn it. Look at my little cleaning bottle too. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> That's so stupid. Dimitri over here talking about torque wrenches and he's still looking for gravel. <laughs> Dimitri's looking for his gravel. So this is like a spring washer, basically, that I'm cleaning off right now. When you torque down to it on it, it has some flex to it. It basically uh, helps keep your cranks tight. That's what it does. What's up, Sam? Thank you. Eight months. So what I'm doing over here, you can't really see. <laughs> I should do it over there by the camera. Actually, here, I'll just turn this. Hello. Oh, oh now we change camera angles. Uh, 
I'm basically cleaning out this washer. It's two washers that are sprung together. So there, you know, gunk can get in there and stop it from squeezing down tighter. So I'm, I'm just kind of scraping out the gunk is what I'm trying to do. That way it can squeeze down tighter. I'm not a scientist. You can't kind of find gravel, dude. You gotta go all the way. It's either gravel or it's not. Yo, know, if I go out there and ride gravel, I'm gonna be so disappointed in you if I find it on my first try. Don't let me do that. Please. Please don't. Yeah, the bearings feel all right still. Let's see. Spacer equals washer, yeah. because I cleaned all the gunk off. See, this is why I don't clean any. Yeah, Mir, come build your gravel bike already, dude. I got all your shit over here anyways. Come on. <laughs> yeah, your wheels. <laughs> now I got like, what else do I have? Are you gonna put, you're putting like these wheels on your gravel bike? So it's like your touring gravel bike? Ooh. Talk to me. You know what other bikes over here right now? Eric's bike. He brought the bike he bought off of you. He brought it in yesterday or two days ago. I think he's trying to get comfortable on it and ride it more. Now that, now that fall's coming. Bro, come on. Don't do this to me, baby. There we go. I should have left the gunk in the, in the cranks because now when I tighten them down, it feels like it's, it needs a new washer. It's so annoying, dude. <laughs> I didn't change anything. <laughs> uh, I should have left the gunk in there, guys. See? That's why I don't clean anything. See, it needs to be, that's even too tight. I need a new washer size. Whatever, I'll worry about that some other time. Yeah, it's a wavy washer. Do I got the uh, Chris King bottom bracket tool? Uh, let me see. I forget which one that is. Let me check for you. Is it the BBT 69.2? Is it this one? I think this one's too small for the Chris King. Yeah, that one's too small. This is like the regular one. Um, 
I don't know if I have it, dude. I have this one. Yeah, I think that's the only one I have. Amir, if you're going to come over here today, I got to tell you that I'm leaving to I have a flight out to Los Angeles tomorrow. You're welcome to stay here as long as Eric's here. But I'm going to have to dip at one what time or another. I have to go pack and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Know what I mean now? Damn, the fucking grease from this wet lube is so bad. God, it's so thick, dude. Ugh, so bad. It's never gonna come off of here. It's like cake on. Jesus. All right, it's not that bad. I mean, it was bad, but it's too much work, dude. So I guess the next thing I need to do is put my pedals on. Pedals. I think that's it. I'm mean, gonna we'll go bring this over to uh, Cog, or it'll be ready to bring to Cog. That is. There's one other fucking eagle derailleur. That's important. It's expensive. Where is it? I'm gonna put it in the parts bin like an idiot. There it is. 
I found it. This thing needs to be cleaned. That's why it's not on the bike. Damn, these pedals are all nice and greased up for me. Super nice, dude. Got some pedal washers in here. That you guys can't see. You can hear me though, right? You hear me, you see me, you smell me. Yeah, I forgot I had this little box of bolts. It's very nice to have, you guys. I recommend you all get a box and fill it with bolts. All right, so this is a, an eight, which I left over here. So remember when you're putting your pedals on, it doesn't matter what side of the bike you're on, you always um, I put the wrong one on. You always spin towards the back wheel, right? Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> Never pedal towards the back wheel, bro. Always and I mean always turn it towards the front wheel. <laughs> Did I confuse you yet? Uh oh. It says we're running out of battery here. Got it. Uh huh, got it, yep. Totally. Stream's gonna die soon, chat. When it does, I don't know what to tell you. I guess, I guess we're done. I guess we're done for. Uh, I can do this, let's see. This thing have battery life? Yeah, it does. Let's see. That GoPro is plugged in here. Got it. And then this one's plugged in here. There we go. Remember not to strip out your cranks. God damn it. A little, little finger tight, bro. That's about it. Get some, get some new viewers in here enjoying the uh, bicycle maintenance channel. Terry B's bicycle maintenance channel. Huh? Who's in here? Look at how gross this is. Look at how gross this is. Look at this. Ugh. Yuck. So bad.
It's almost probably better just to take this all the way off. I don't really want to spend that much time cleaning this though. It's so gross. Yeah, the wet lube, dude. Who taught this guy how to wrench? <laughs> Dude. Trial and error, bro. I think I'm just gonna take the pulleys out real quick. They're so gross. This is where disaster can happen. Let's take the pulleys out. Let's clean them up. This is where disaster can happen because I know these pulley screws have like washers and fucking torque and torque settings and fucking red Loctite and shit. A lot of, a lot of things can go wrong here for me. <laughs> All right. I did it off camera so I wouldn't make a fool of myself. I guess I'll do this over here. Bring this box. Oh boy. Yeah, there's like red Loctite and blue Loctite. Or thread lock, I mean, whatever. Same shit. Start with this. I think this rag is just gonna have to get thrown away, dude. I don't even think this is gonna come clean again. Yeah, degreaser would be great. But this, uh, I think I have drivetrain cleaner actually. Let me see. This is just light cleaner. And that's high performance waterless, water, waterless wash. I have some, let's see. Here we go. This is the stuff I need. Drive train cleaner. Let's see what, if this stuff works. Cause the, the lube that we used was all muck off on the way. And we got more of it, so. So we use this stuff. All right, I have this little bottle, all these little sample bottles. Uh, uh, uh. I'm not crunched for time. I'm probably just gonna get out of here by like six tonight. I just wanna make sure I have enough time uh, 
to uh, pack up and shit, you know? I don't really have much other going on. I just have to write a couple emails. I don't know if this is working better or not. Let me see, what does it say? Shake bottle vigorously. I did that. Spray all over the drive chain, including cassette, chain ring, derailleurs. Leave for one minute. Oh, that's what I didn't do. I didn't leave for one minute here. Let's lay this rag down. Here comes Eric, dude. He's here. Amir might come by later to say hi. Let's just throw this on all of this shit, dude. We got one, chat. Mark it. We got a motherfucking howdy back right there. Howdy back at it. Howdy back at it. I ain't no howdy back girl. I ain't no howdy back. To the round track, no big no bap bap. I ain't your howdy back girl. Woo! Wild shit. <laughs> Yo, that guy put his hands on me. His hand on me. Yeah. Why? You see that guy with spandex? No. He's like, you guys need to stop. <laughs> and then he went, came around and followed me because I was like, why don't you walk your bike across the street? Flip them off like this. Teletubby rides in 111 degree heat. Eastern Oregon, or Washington. Sources say the man is crazy. Don't worry about the bill. The bill is the least of our problems. The three drink stories are going to be. Someone, hey, yo, someone on stream, fuck off. That's the shot right there. Can you take one for me? Oh yeah, you gotta stand right here though so the chat can see. Right here, come on. Okay. Yeah, let's get you in here. Okay. Hell yeah. What's your name? John. John, all right, ready? One, two. Oh, a guy in the red shirt, hold on. Hold on, it's okay. No, you're okay. You're Hi there. How are you doing? Hello, yeah. hello. Good. How far did you come from? Uh, we came from Brooklyn, oh, New York. Wow. You're kidding. No. Oh, yeah. indeed. Yeah. So you made it to Ovid, Michigan. Yeah, we're here. Yeah. Where are you going to end up? 